welcome back to another lip balm review and boy has this set been much requested and took so long for me to get my hands on but it's the chapstick ice cream collection <laughs> which has strawberry gelato vanilla bean ice cream and orange sherbet as the flavors in it I find it interesting that all of them are in lowercase, so I'm not quite sure when I go to title these if I'm going to be doing it that way. I don't think my OCD will let me leave them lowercase. I'm, I'm going to have to capitalize them. I just I freaking can't, even though on the back, even on the back, they did the same shit. I don't know why. So some people had luck finding them in dollar stores. I never did. I never did. I looked and looked and looked. I looked for over a goddamn year. I never found them. It took outsourcing this to friends in other states to track them down. And I don't know why this was so difficult, given that, like, these flavors sound so basic. It's like, why was this so hard to find? I don't understand. Even the coffee collection turned up sooner than this one ever did. But regardless, I'm glad to have it now. So... Let's start with strawberry gelato today, and I'll do the next couple over the next couple days. Fair? Fair. So, strawberry gelato. It's probably going to be the same strawberry scent they always do. I like the color. It's very light, actually. Okay, so we'll go through our normal checklist of stuff. So, obviously, format normal chapstick. Um, nothing new to see there. On the cap, it does have a little decal of an ice cream cone which is pretty cute I do like that um let's see wiggly turn wheel hey they actually managed to not wiggle Woohoo! all right so price point wise i actually don't know offhand because i'm not the one who found it but given where it turned up I i'm gonna guess it's like within a dollar or so it's range but uh yeah so Size-wise, it's 0.15 ounces, like all chapsticks. Um, it is synthetic, pretty obviously. Part of a side of three, already read you the other flavors. I'm trying not to hiccup, but I don't know why I almost have hiccups right now. Um, it is limited edition. I think it's still in stores right now. I don't know how long they'll sell the set for. Given the last few limited edition sets and how long they've hung around in stores, I wouldn't worry about it disappearing too quickly. If anything, maybe it'll just become more widely available. You know, chapstick, that, that might be a good thing. Might be. Might be a nice thing. Uh, anyway, so it's not medicated, no SPF, no special features. So let's roll it up a little further to try and get more surface area to sniff. Ooh, okay. Actually, it's a little different than their normal strawberry scents they go with. Not gonna lie, it actually is a little different. You know what it reminds me of? And it's ridiculous that it reminds me of another lip balm more than anything. Do you guys remember years ago when Revo was still a thing and they did that Valentine's Day collection? Whatever the strawberry scent was, I don't even remember anymore. I just remember there was a strawberry one. It smelled just like this. So if you had that, that's what this smells like. Like, spot fucking on. But it's really good. It is a little bit artificial, but it definitely nails down that, like, strawberry ice cream scent. Which is so hard to put into words, but, like, the closest one that comes to mind immediately smelling this is, like, the Briar's Strawberry Ice Cream. So that's actually really good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. Oh good, it's a softer one too. It's not like hella waxy where you have to work at it to get it going. Okay. I'm into it. You do smell it on your lips once it's on. There's like a little hint of vanilla in there too, which definitely adds to the ice creaminess of it. I'm trying to help there's flavor. It may be psychosomatic. I don't know that this one has flavor, per se, but it's definitely scented, so. Thickness-wise, it's a medium, and consistency-wise, it's very creamy, very smooth. It's a pretty rich-feeling one. 
not really tacky, which is surprising for a run-of-the-mill chapstick. Usually there's a bit of tackiness there. I'm not getting that off of this one, actually, which is nice. Yeah, this actually feels really good. <laughs> now I see why you guys have requested me to review this one for so long. This one's actually pretty darn good. So, oops, knocking stuff off the edge of the table. Um... It's hard to say if this is more of one that would moisturize or just protect and hold moisture in. It's kind of bordering both, which doesn't happen too often in the main chapstick line. Usually you get that in like the total hydration. So that's kind of cool to see in like a normal ass chapstick. Let's go ahead. Actually, first, let's see. Ooh, it does have some shine to it. I'm here for it. All right, now we can do the drink test. Hmm. Failed. All right, all right. Like right here, especially. I feel like it went right through it, like you wiped it off. Okay, so that's a point of constraint. So. I think my only issues with it were that, plus the fact that I don't think it actually has a flavor, it's just scented. I kind of really wish it had flavor. But other than that, I think I have no other issues. So this for me, I don't even have to stop and go down the list. I, I know this is an 8 out of 10, which is actually better than I was expecting because I thought this was just going to be like a generic ass strawberry chapstick. And it's not. They actually did find a way to change it up just a little. Just a little, but enough to where it is a unique scent and flavor. Well, not really flavor, but I mean, you know what I mean. Um, compared to their other strawberries that they've done over the years, and opposed to like their normal run-of-the-mill just plain strawberry, or like the strawberry that was in with the Valentine's Day collection they did a few years ago, or any of the other number of strawberries they have done. They have done many. It is different. And I like that. I do appreciate that they didn't just slap a new name and uh, coat of paint on an old favorite and just call it something new. Because they've done that before, too. Many times. But no, this one's actually unique. So, bravo, Chapstick. Bravo. Anyway, that's about all I have to say for this one. So, as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below, make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, everything and more, it's all down below, and if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, bye-bye.